Hey YouTube, welcome back for another Minecraft video. Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial on auto harvesting melon farm. Uh, I was trying to get it up yesterday and I kind of like messed up so I just deleted it and now I'm going to redo it. Um, okay, so first, well, let me just get this new world open. Ooh, nice land for once. It's such a, like a change. Um, I could probably just have that. No, no, it's fine. Okay, um, what you're going to need, like in my other um, video, you're gonna need a ele eleven fence. A, oh my, okay. Nine by uh sixteen blocks, um, area of a rectangle. So I'm gonna start here and go one, two. I'm sorry, one, two, oh, eleven, which is also eleven fences and eighteen fences. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and if you count uh, um and then if you like square this um put another fence there and you count what's inside it's one, one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you're gonna go 18 fences over so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen one two three oh, actually, i actually really don't need to count i can just like measure it up Whoops. Um. Yeah. Ah. Whoa. All right. Really. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I'm messing up so badly. It's not even funny. All right. So let's see if we can keep an animal out of my farm for once, because we're in desert. Um. Oh, I'm gonna have to change this all to dirt. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I finished filling in this uh, area with dirt. And the first thing we're gonna do, like in my last video, actually the sugar cane video, because, well, did that, the uh, breaking it up is similar to the sugar cane video, and the planting of the seeds are similar to the cat eye video. Uh, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, dig out this first row here, of dirt, and leave this, um, thing, row or column, I, I still don't know for some reason. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna leave, leave this, um, line of dirt, um, there, don't, like, clear it out. Then you're gonna skip a space for the melon seeds, and then you're gonna cont di um, dig two rows, two columns, whatever. Don't know. Two lines, put it like that. And I'm gonna say lines for now on. And then this will be for your melons. Then you gotta dig out another two lines. Ah, uh, it's messed up. And then melons again. And then I'm doing this very quick so I don't bore you guys to death. Um. Okay, yay. Alright, so I'm pretty much done. And once you have done that, you're going to get a, um, um, a lot of buckets of water. I think about 11, because I counted it in my last video attempt. So, is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9... Yep, 10, 11. Okay. Uh, it'll just end there. You see how thin it gets. It won't not go into this row. Because it's 9 blocks long and water travels 8. So, okay. Now you're going to need your hoe. And your melon seeds. Uh, you could, you should, I think you should hoe all of them. Oh, hold all of them but this last one of dirt. Okay, so once you have done this, you're going to get your melon seeds and place them every other block. Because the melons um, grow next to them instead of on top of them. And you're going to do that with all of them. And once you have done that, whoops. Okay, so once you have done this, you're gonna um, get your pistons. Just replace it there. And you're gonna place them 
ne um the one bo the em the block that does not have the um seed planted on it because the melon grows next to it and you want to push the melon off not the um grown seeds so you're going to continue doing that i'm going to pause the video so at least less time and you guys don't get bored to death so i'll be right back okay guys so um i have finished putting my pistons down and then once you have done that you're gonna um all right you're gonna go to um these line of pit these line the oh my God, this line of pistons over here and you're gonna break the fence block right behind the piston then you're gonna get your redstone repeaters and you're gonna place it right behind the pistons like this and you're gonna get your um, redstone wire, and you're gonna place it so it's like this, and it's connecting the redstone repeaters to the redstone wire. You're gonna continue over till you hit the next line of pistons. You're gonna break that fence, and you're gonna put a repeater right before that line of pistons. And then you're gonna get um, a block, I'm gonna use stone, and you're gonna place it um, on these, these, um, okay, you're gonna place it like this, and then you're gonna place it on the pistons. You're gonna place it on top of the pistons, making a line, and then you're gonna go down one, so it's basically just covering the water, and then you're gonna place it on this, uh, um, line of dirt blocks, and then the, um, the block where the fence was. Once you have done that, you're gonna get your, um, wiring, and you're gonna, um, put it all the way um, at the end of end of the line of, of stone, all the way to where the repeater is. This you put the repeater there so it gets um, enough power to make the pistons extend and push the block. So I'm going to pause the video and continue the wiring, and I'm also going to place some torches around the fences. You might want to do that so um, your plants get enough lighting. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I finished putting the redstone wiring on top of the stone blocks and over the pistons and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to um where you, you know where um you put the rest of the wiring here and the where the repeaters are you're gonna go where you made that turn to go put the rest of the wiring everywhere else and you're gonna put um two blocks high and or one block high depending where you want to put your button if you're going to put your button on the bottom you make it one block high you're gonna put it on the top you put, just place the button on the top, and you're going to have to knock out that corner piece of redstone wiring, place a block, and then you're going to have to go like that so it gives power to the, so when you push the button, it'll give power. If it was on the bottom, if it was on the floor, I don't think it would get power. Um, okay, so once you have done that, you're going to come to this last line of dirt. You're going to dig two blocks down, and you're going to continue going across to hit the last, the, to hit the fence which is right there for me and then you're gonna get your bucket of water and you're gonna place it all the way at the um opposite end um uh, yeah op opposite end where you started digging down and you're gonna make it go and then it'll go across and wherever it ends you're gonna dig a block down right next to it after the block it ends ended and you're gonna make, dig it all the way over to you got to where you stopped before and you're gonna continue placing the water down and wherever this um wherever when once it stops over here you're gonna make a staircase going down and of course my sand blocks are gonna fall because they um are affected by gravity and I just ruined the redstone wiring. Let me just fix that quick. Alright and you could just do it a couple blocks down. I'll do one more. And then, um, like I like I like to do, I'd probably put it in my house. So, so this would be um, the water coming into my house, like this. And once I would push the button, the water it would push the melon block, and it would make um, like about six watermelons for each block and it would come down here some of them will get stuck in this um, um this line of dirt and seeds 
Um, not much though. A lot more. We'll go down here. And oh, by the way, that's just my doorbell ringing. Okay, so. Alright. Alright, so. Uh, what was I saying now? Um, okay, so you would place your dirt. Uh, you place your melon. Box down. You know what? I'm gonna pause the video so um, I don't bore you guys to death. But you're just gonna place your. No, you're not gonna place your watermelon blocks. Your seed should grow, and the watermelon block, the melon block, should just come right next to it. So, I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So basically, I just placed bone meal on the seeds that we put down, and then I just placed melon blocks next to it because I'm not waiting an hour for it to grow. You guys would probably wait or cheat like I did. But no, I, you would probably cheat by putting the bone meal on the seeds, but you can't cheat by doing this. Unless you're on creative mode. Um, you, you may get four, you may not, because if you look at this melon block here, this um, seed that grew is connected to this melon block, and so is this one. So it might give you less, and this one's also connected to no, it doesn't matter. So, you might not have this melon block here. So, you probably get three. Um, so far, no animals have interrupted my video. I'm probably going to jinx it. Um, let me just see if that's it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to test it out now. Wait, let me clean out my inventory. hit that okay so you guys can see when I um hit the button you get like about like maybe six maybe four watermelons from each block and once the melon block gets pushed out these stay grown and it will just keep on producing melons um not many um well I'm not gonna get the same number every time I'm gonna get different it varies from different numbers so now we're going to count up how many didn't um, make it into the water. So far we have three. This is four. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, last video attempt, I got three that didn't make it and four that didn't make it. So I'm going to throw these out. And once, uh, please don't grab. Of course. Oh no, there's a sheep. That better not interrupt me on my farm. If I will. Um, okay, finished. Let's go down. And I step in, I get 64, 25. So, 9 didn't make it. If you would even try to figure out the percentage that didn't make it, it would probably be like 3. And if you find out the percentage of that did make it, probably 97. I'm not going to figure it out. I'm just guessing so this ends my tutorial on melon farm piston farm uh this broke because i was stepping on it um okay so comment rate subscribe like my videos um tell your friends about my channel do not get near my farm or i'll wreck you and have thanks for watching and have a great day